So now we are packing our stuff because we are going from where we are, Natrang, to Danang. Overnight train of 10 hours. Let's get going. cabin bag so we're coming back to the hotel Here the rule don't go over the over this uh, doesn't apply. They tell you to do it. Yeah, you need to do it. Is this the first class uh, type of train? This should be the first class. This should be the first Not class. Some part of it. Some part of it. Oh yeah, look at them. I know, what is that? No, it can't be pee. I mean, it's not smelling nice. It can't be the toilet. No, it cannot be. I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Let's see if I can. Uh, okay. Yeah? Yeah, I can do it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Really good. Why is it wet? The AC. We're leaving. We're moving. Okay, I guess uh, this is gonna be our bed and uh, apartment for the next 10 hours. Yeah, at least uh, there's no six people like yeah, uh, we're the, just the way go. And it's it's good. It's good. I must say. Ooh, way to go. She's thinking if she should change. She doesn't feel comfy. It moves a lot. Why me? Oh my god, I can't look at You squished it? Tape. Oh my god, there's oh. another one, so you yeah, got it? Okay, I think there's but there's one more here. One more here. <laughs> this is not a good cabin. <laughs> She's gonna change there. Yeah. Okay, good. Even there. To kill more bugs. the food that was attracted in the box. So I'm like this now, I'm finishing the food. You wanna put your head there? Like this is good, yeah, it's good. First class, and now we killed how many? Four. More. One, two. I killed three, four, five, six. One cockroach survivor is still there. Yeah. Cockroach. 
Porsche, sorry, still there, surviving. Um, we're gonna try to get some sleep. Good night. Okay, so it's 2.30 a.m. now, and there has been like 30 cucarachas that has crawled around and on us. We're not going in anymore, so I might as well take the bag. Interesting, and we've seen on the map that there's many vegan places around us. It's close it's, to the beach, so yeah. there's good uh, expectations after the, the horrific night. Yeah, oh my god. Okay. Oh wow, oh wow, it was uh, okay, quite small, but just for two nights. Oh, nice. For okay. a couple of nights, it's good. And I can notice that they, they all leave the flip flops here. So I think it's a custom of yeah. hotels and hospitality to have um, these ones. Uh, thank you because I've broken mine lately. So. Yeah, true. And uh, the good thing is that we only booked two nights here because then we're gonna move again. So it was worth it. It was only 20 euros. So 10 euros a night and it, the beach is literally just right outside and there's a lot of vegan cafes and restaurants around so even though it's like small and stuff we're, we're only gonna be here to sleep yeah and yeah good. it was a great option because it was instant booking because we didn't book when we arrived yet yeah we so, just booked now in the cafe yeah all Perfect. good let's see what there's around I mean, the bathroom is bigger than, <laughs> than, than the, the bedroom than the bedroom almost. yeah and it's so nice i love this uh, golden thing going on yeah what a night talk about our night yeah so we bought first class tickets and it wasn't cheap. We paid 75 euros for one way, mm. um, for both of us though. Yeah, Let us just say it was not worth even five euros. It was a horrible experience for both of us. Obviously, I mean, it's um, standards, uh, not a first class st standard that you would expect. <laughs> yeah. It's simply about getting the mattress a bit thicker mm -hmm. and not the, having so many people in the room. Yeah, because the first class has four, yeah. second class sleepers has six people, and you can't even stand as we experience in the way going to Natrang. Yeah, we're telling you this because if you're gonna book a first class ticket <laughs> to take a train within Vietnam, know what to expect because, mm -hmm. okay, we didn't have, have the highest expectations, but not this low. So we were invaded by cockroaches. Mm -hmm. Like they were found one and then another one and then another one. And then it was like no end. Like they were from a little hole in the wall. They were just like pouring out. Like it was like a scary movie almost. Yeah, from, and, from and, every direction. Uh, and then we got moved uh, to another bunk, let's say. Mm, uh, cabin, yeah. Another cabin. And we we're like, okay, let's get some sleep. 
And then about an hour later, a man, like uh, someone who worked on the train, he just stumbles in, like he, he just opens the door and starts screaming at us, like he was so aggressive mm. and like touching us really hard, like he go, go, like throwing us out from there because other people were coming in. We were like, so are we going back to the cockroaches or what's going on? So and, I went to yeah. get the lady that uh, moved us there so that they could talk to each other. So we simply moved to a third cabin. Yeah. And uh, there we just squeezed me and her, as you have seen, that yeah. uh, we just stayed in a bed. Not only the experience of the cockroaches, mm -hmm. but even the experience of the people, that oh. they were so rude. Yeah. The ones uh, working there, especially this man, was mm -hmm. incredibly rude. It was also two other men. They were screaming and laughing at us, and we were like, hey, and we were putting on translators so they would understand what was going on. Like, But still, they were reading it, and they were like, no, 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 go, and they're screaming at us, and I got really traumatized. I was really sad afterwards, because I was like, oh my god, like I got really shocked by the way mm. we were treated. Anyway, so now we got, we're good, <laughs> we are moving past that. We didn't sleep, that's why we're Beat. having our bags like here. <laughs> now we're in this hotel that we just showed you, Cheap, easy, simple, we're just gonna yeah. sleep here for two nights before moving again. And uh, I think we're going to the beach now and just like relax, have something to eat. Come with us. So, as you know guys, we like the local places. Tourist town. Yeah. We're in the right place. <laughs> but at least we're going to the beach there. Let's see if they stop. Yeah. Okay, follow me. But, but we need to try. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this one stopped? Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. Perfect. Oh, not, wow. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, there were no cars here, but uh, yeah, not bad. Yeah, it looks like oh Miami my Beach. Yes. A little bit actually. A little. Mountain, wow. And of course, there's a Vietnamese working out as usual. <laughs> <laughs> They're always there, it's so funny. So weather-wise, Natrang it's better, but beach-wise, this uh, looks amazing. Let's settle down somewhere now and eat our sandwiches. After this unpleasant and slightly traumatic train experience, we are excited to have arrived in Da Nang. We actually came here to see especially one epic thing that we've been wanting to see for a long time. Unfortunately, that won't really go as planned neither, but you'll see that in the next video. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and hit the notification bell to be notified as soon as we publish a video. Wow! Take care, stay blessed and we'll see you in the next one.